Hey folks, welcome to New Master That Gear video. Today I'm going to be looking at the SP compressor from Exotic. And you can see this is quite a dinky little thing, uh, but it is actually quite substantial. It's slightly taller than most Kine Mini pedals I've seen. And weight wise, it's about 260 grams worth of weight here and it's absolutely solid. Um, I don't know uh, what casing is used here, but there's absolutely no way this is going to get uh, damaged if you, you know, do a lot of gigging. It's a really, really solid pedal, really nicely made. Uh, it's true bypass, and it's actually based um, on something known as a Ross compressor, which is regarded by some as like one of the best compressors. So they've um, taken some electrical components and used the same ones that are in that kind of compressor to try and get, you know, one of the best kind of compression sounds. Now, feature-wise, um, you've got just two knobs on here. We've got a kind of a volume knob, a boost, and then there's a blend knob, and then there's a switch here that can switch between the different uh, compression modes that I'll talk about. But not only that, internally it's got a dip switch as well, which you can set various things, so you can adjust the attack and release time and the compression, as well as uh, you know adding a little bit of top end or moving top end and stuff as well. So there's lots of little things, uh, configuration available, and we'll look at that as we go through the demo. So that's, that's the pedal there, so let's get stuck in and see what it sounds like. So let's have a listen to um, what these uh, control knobs do. So I've just got, uh, I've just, just in the next single coil, clean tone, just goes straight into my amp. That's the sound, basically, amp with no pedal. And I'm just going straight into the pedal, from the pedal straight into the amp. Okay, so it's a nice sound already. This is a great amp. But what I've got here is, um, I've got this uh, volume boost, uh, 12 o'clock and I've got the blend at 12 o'clock. So what this basically means is, you know, the, the blend control, if you're all the way to the left, you're 100% dry, if all the way to the right, you've got 100% compression. So I'm kind of midway here. And I've got the compressor set to the lowest setting as well. So really what I want to hear is just the this boost and the scope we've got with it. So that's um, amp in its own. And this is with the boost at 12 o'clock. Not much of a change there, you know, a little bit of the compression coming in there, obviously. You know, if I turn it down to 10 o'clock, do it that, and then whack it all the way up to be here. Look at that, so there's much more um, volume there, obviously, and you get a little bit more of the compression too. So if you want, I mean, you can use that, obviously, I've got a I have quite a lot of headroom in the amp here, but you could use that to as a boost to push the front end of the amp if you wanted, just to kind of stick it to a little bit of overdrive. What a uh, quite nice thing about uh, using a compression pedal, even with a light bit of uh, compression like that, is you can use it as a nice uh, kind of boost for soling with a clean kind of sound, so you get a little bit more kind of sustain. players that use that quite a lot, you know, guys at Gilmore and stuff like that. So the, the compression's acting just to give you a little bit more sustain on normally with a clean tone, the note dies off a bit quicker compared to using, you know, gain or distortion. So the blend knob, as I was saying, all the way to the turned off is 100% dry. So if I do that, this is basically the amp sound. Uh, and if I go all the way over this way, I've basically got 100% compression. So you can hear it's a little bit squashed there, the kind of sound. Now I've obviously got the, the compression set to the lowest tier, so you're going to get a bit more of a kind of subtle effect here. So this is quite nice because obviously you can blend if you're thinking, well, uh, basically I just want you know, my clean sound of my amp, I just want a little bit extra, particularly if I'm playing chordal work or fast kind of funky sort of stuff. You can just use a little bit of it, you know, maybe just slightly after 12 o'clock or something. This is how I could have used it live recently, just to get the kind of sound of it. You know, just add a little bit versus with it off. It's a little bit kind of um, not quite as uh, contained versus with the compression, you know. Mm -hmm. 
So the actual level of compression uses is controlled by this wee switch. You've kind of got a low mode, a middle mode, and a high mode. So the low mode we've already been kind of using. So again, just for a comparison, this is my, just my clean sound of my amp. With the uh, compression. Uh, middle. And then the highest compression setting, so we really squash it. Again, if I compare that with off. Yeah, subtle effect there, but of course I could control it. So if I go back to low and, you know, give a bit more of a, more of that compression effect, low. We've got that. Middle, middle setting. So you can hear it's getting a bit punchier. And then finally, on the high setting there. And what you can hear there, of course, as well, because you've got the compression on, you know, you're raising up the quieter bits and squishing down the loud bits. So you're going to hear that kind of noise there as well. So it's something to kind of factor in. I'm in the single coil. It's on the clean setting, but you can hear that it's got a little more uh, noise there. Down the middle, and then that lowest setting. So I've opened up the back of the pedal. There's four screws that holds the plate on. Yeah, that's the plate there, the rubber feet. Um, we've got our dip switch inside here, which has got various modes. So this is the default. So we've got four switches, and the default mode is basically switch three and four on, switch one and two off. The switch one and two is one I want to look at here. This is what controls the, the attack and release time uh, on a compressor. So everything we've done so far is basically set to kind of a long attack and long release. And uh, with the switch one and two, you basically kind of got four options. So you can have switch one and two off, which is the longest. You know, switch one on, switch two off, uh, switch one off, switch two on, and then switch one on and switch two on, if that makes sense, which takes you kind of to the kind of shorter I can have a tag time. So what I'll do is um, I'll put this to the various settings and have a listen to see what it sounds like. Switch 3 controls a high cut filter that's built into the pedal. Now, by default, that's switched on, which should roll off the top end of the guitar signal just a little bit so there's not quite as uh, many highs. So, this is what it sounds like on by default. And this is the high cut filter off. Switch 4 controls an input pad, and that's really there just to control uh, any unwanted distortion if you're using a slightly higher output uh, pickup like a humbucker. Now default that's actually switched to off, so I've gone switch to the humbucker here in the guitar, uh, and this is what it sounds like, so this is the switch off, so there's no input pad on at the moment. <laughs> So now we have this input pad on. Let's 
let's finish off by listening to a few the kind of recommended settings that you get with the SP compressor manual. Let's have a little listen with the pedal with uh, some higher gain sounds. Now obviously you typically hear compression with clean sounds because when you start using the uh, you know gain stage of, of amp or whatever you're going to get natural compression there anyway but some people like to just add a little bit of compression maybe for sustain you know so this is what we've got. Um uh, without any compression on there. Pretty good, you know, sustain and stuff on there already. Let's add um, just a little bit of low compression onto that. Obviously, instantly you can hear that it's noisier because, as I said before, it's going to bring up um, uh, the lower, the quieter sounds louder, and the louder sounds quieter. But this is what we got. having a nice little tough moment here so it does help with that it's a very subtle kind of thing uh, some players prefer to use all amp rather than using any kind of compression and distortion but you never know if you wanted a little bit more of that maybe it was a single coil gives you a little bit more extra there or if you just wanted to be have the playing feel a little bit more forgiving so you get a bit more of a, um, you, know, you know what it's like when you play with gain, everything's a bit more sensitive and a bit more forgiving playing wise. So there you go, that's the SP Compressor from Exotic. Hopefully this video has given you a little bit more uh, insight how the pedal reacts and sounds. Great little pedal, it's good to see uh, that kind of pedal functionality in that kind of size. Uh, it means if you want a little mini pedal board like I do, it's great, you can have your compressor on there. And I have used this live actually, and it really, really helped um, with the kind of clean strumming, kind of funky sort of stuff, just to kind of lift it in the mix, just for, you know, for the audience point of view or the people dancing, whatever too, but also just for hearing it on stage, because I normally have the amp on stage for monitoring. So again, let me get a better feel for uh, picking dynamics and things. So it was great for that as well. So if you can uh, check one out, Give it a wee shot and see what you think. Uh, and let us know what you think in the, the comments below, of course, as well. Now stay tuned. I've got uh, a lot more Master That Gear videos on the way with a lot more kind of exotic pedals. So if you like um, the sound of them or are interested in to see what they have to offer, uh, stay tuned for that.
Until then, um, you know, follow me on Twitter, check out stuff on Facebook. There's other things that get posted up there that you won't see on YouTube. So um, until the next video, have fun. <laughs>